All right, we're gonna be covering the smash pass, okay? So, Rory jumps down. Smash pass is basically where I wanna like, some people call it smash or folding pass, where I take the top leg past the bottom leg, okay? I don't just do it like that, but I'll go through two different ways of doing this. So, uh, when someone's lying down like that, how we force this to happen, and from when they're seated, and then just some of the main details that I think are important uh, to, to first learn this technique, okay? So, um, first of all, we'll go from the seated position first. If I want to smash the legs, it's hard to do that while Rory is sitting up like quite forward like that. If he resists, it's hard to move the legs like all the way across. If I can get him tilted back a little bit like that, so he's, see how he's, like if I tilt him back, his feet just start to come off the ground. Now it's much easier to, to tilt him to the side, okay? Um, so to do that, I'm gonna lead with my head uh, and try and use my head to tilt him back. So I wanna be like here and using my head to go like this, okay? That means my hands are ready to try to direct the knees where I want, okay? So if I'm, if I'm here, I can have one hand on the knee and as soon as his foot starts to lift, I can start to turn, get my chest on the, the leg and start to get the smash pass position, okay? I really want you to think of it, the smash pass, not, it's not about like using your hand to turn the knee, it's about getting your chest to the side of the leg. And okay? once your chest's on the side of the leg, once you're like this, your legs and your body weight can start to do the work and it's very hard for them to resist, okay? You can use your hands a little bit to get it started, but it's always your chest that does the majority of the work. I think that's a big mistake. People try to like go like this to snatch. It's too, too easy to resist. I need to get my chest behind me. Okay? Now I can really drive him down and smash the legs. So again, to set it up, we're gonna be here. My head's gonna start to come in. As soon as I see his, his feet start to lift, I'm gonna use my hand on the outside of the leg, get my chest across, and I sprawl to here. Okay? Immediately, uh, I'd say actually positioning first. Make sure your weight is actually on the leg and not on the, the hip here. Here, you can just lift up and use hooks. You lose your balance too easily. I want to have my weight here, okay? Like chest or, or belly over the top of the leg and gripping onto the back. I want to grab the elbow on this arm and I want to put my head next to the shoulder, okay? My feet are pretty much quite wide and I pretty much want to cover both of his legs with my feet, okay? Really common when people first do this, they kind of end up like here. It's like not correct, he can use his legs way too easily to start to escape. I want to be covering the legs like this. You see, my weight's actually off him, but on the leg, not on his, not on his core, okay? Grabbing the elbow, head comes in, okay? From here to pass, a nice simple way to do that, we're gonna use windshield wipers, okay? So, without the, if I try to just kick past, Rory can hook my legs, and he, it stops me, and if I really try, and then I get like off balance, okay? Don't move much, apart from just your legs. I'm just gonna hook over the top, windshield wiper, windshield wiper. Now that my outside leg is past his top leg, he can't really hook me very well. So I go to pass, and it's easy, okay? So let's go through that all again. I wanna tilt Rory back, use my hand, get my chest, sprawl, control the elbow, like so, windshield wiper, Windshield wiper, pass the gun. No one no one's filming you, don't worry. <laughs> All right guys, let's have a go, three minutes each, three, two, one. So we'll do a different finish and then we'll deal with when the person's lying down, okay? So again, I use my head, lock the knee, you get my chest, and I sprawl to here. Now, I didn't really talk about why we control the elbow, there's two reasons, okay? Uh, one, I don't want Rory getting up on that arm. This is an annoying defense, he can possibly recover, I have to work to get him down and then pass. So if I can, if I can immediately control the elbow, and hold it nice and tight here, get up on that arm now. So, so he can't get up. The other reason I control the elbow, so he can't push my legs. Okay. It's 
especially for when we want to go to mount, which we're going to do now. So I'm going to work towards mount. I don't want him pushing on my leg as I do that. Um, so to get to mount, I'm going to step this leg like kind of wide. It just has to be to the point where my knee can block the bottom leg. Like that, okay? Um, if you try and step too close, then it'll be really hard to get your knee down. See that? It's like too jammed up. So just, I kind of step wide and then you want to block the knee with that knee. At the same time, like once I feel that, my head's going to go to the other side. Now, yeah. Okay. To get to the mount, I'm going to roll my hips. And it, uh, before I do that, I'll just talk about that arm. So right now, if I wasn't holding this arm, or I would push my leg like mad, and I would move back and forth. That's why I need that elbow. I'm going to push my leg. Okay, so I'm pulling that elbow up. I'm going to roll my hips. I'm going to use my left leg behind the knees. And I'm going to scoop up both of Rory's legs and walk up the triangle here. You can just cross your feet, triangle is strong. Make sure you're scooping behind the knee. When you do it at the ankle, you, uh, it won't really lift the leg properly. You need to go behind the knee. Once I have that, I start to square Rory out. Okay. 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 Catch the elbow, I'm going to step wide, but to the point my knee beats the line of his knee. If you hear, no good. It's going to be like that, and my head's going to move to the other side. I roll my hips, scoop, and pick up both legs, pop the triangle. You have to roll your hips, guys. Are you here? And you, you don't roll your hips and you try to scoop, it's not going to be your leg. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Roll my hips and then I can actually like pull his legs on top and work. I want to do this really aggressively. One other thing. I talked about the head pushing Rory back. If he, a lot of times when you're actually doing this, the person will be blocking you with their arms, okay? What I don't want to do is lead with my hands for this. He's going to grab my arms, and now I can't push his legs where I want. I want to keep my, my hands away. He might block my shoulders, and that's fine. I can just use that forward pressure, even without my head connecting. If you're pushing, then this will, will tilt his, his legs back anyway. Okay. So I can do the, if you're doing that, I can smash from. I don't need my head connecting. As long as I can get to here, step, head to the other side. Scoop up the legs, come along the knee. Three, two, one. So now we want to deal with the person who's lying down. Uh, this can be hard to, it's often from here hard to set up the smash because they can use the ground as like a, yeah, if I try to push, he can like resist using the ground, even with his elbow or his other leg like that, he can do that. Okay, so um, we have almost a different problem where we, we usually want to actually sit them up a little bit to make it easier to turn, okay? But first, we're gonna to get to a position called headquarters. Um, this will be a whole nother lesson that we'll, we'll have about like the options you've got from headquarters. So now, what you're gonna do, uh, hold on to both ankles, step out to the side, and you're gonna pin, like with one leg, I'm pinning the inside of his leg. See, I've already started to turn his hips to face this way. So he was, he was square on, and when I step and put my weight down on that, he's already started to turn the direction I want to smash this top leg, okay? Now, white headquarters is good. From here, I have to get past the line of his feet, his knees, his hips to pass. It's kind of like a way of getting past the line of the feet and then stopping and then kind of being able to continue from there. So I control his legs and now his feet aren't able to push me away, okay? So I'm a little closer to being able to pass. So I want to smash this top leg from here. What I'm going to try to do, grip onto the, the collar here. Um, I'm going to try and like move backwards and pull Rory up a little bit. Just, just a little bit like that. Okay? I move my way back and sit him up. Okay? From there, it's much harder for him to use the ground to stop me from smashing that leg and working the smash pass. Okay? You also, especially in these sort of scenarios, you don't want their knee too close to their chest. If I smash it like that, it's not that useful. He can get that back pretty easy by framing. And yeah, and he gets his leg back. I want his leg, like, I want to kind of pull it away from his chest and smash it here where there's a bigger gap. This is much better for me. Okay. So, 
Lock, step, pin. Grab onto the collar here. Feet are wide, knees are tight. So my feet are wide for good base. My knees are tight to keep the position tight. My knees are too wide, he gets his legs back in front to it. Okay? So like this, okay? Grip onto the shoulder, sorry, the collar. Pull back on the leg, and then use your forearm to smash it across. Only to the point where my chest takes over. This is what I really want, my chest there. I can't get my chest there initially. Now I can, okay? Back, here. Now I've got it, okay? Smash pass is ready. I move to the side, grab the elbow, and we continue finishing one of the two ways that we did before. Good. Step in, make sure one leg's between your legs, pinning the other leg, gripping onto the shoulder, moving back, smashing the leg. Pass. Let's have a go. Three, two, one. If you liked that video on the smash pass, I have a instructional series titled The Guard Passing Anthology Half Guard. I have a good 70 minutes on the on the smash pass in, in as well as pretty much how to pass all different types of, of half guard. It's shot in no gi, but the techniques work really well, gi and no gi. If you're gonna get it, please use the links I use below. Um, it helps me out a little more than if you just go through the regular site. Cheers, guys.